So this morning we're just going to take one of the the electric bikes we have for hire at the moment. Uh, it's the E-Lite 600 from Merida. Uh, it's powered by a, the Shimano E6000 motor, uh, the Shimano step system, uh, and a 418 watt battery. Uh, the motor's slightly upgraded from the standard 6000, so it produces a little more power for off-road use. Uh, on the, the top here we have the display panel. Uh, it's controlled by a toggle switches here. So we have three power settings, eco, normal and high. Uh, it also has a feature, if you're down at the bottom, hold on the bottom. And there's a walk feature, so when we select that and push the bottom button in here, uh, the bike will assist you, so if you're pushing up a steep hill, etc, you don't have the weight of the bike to push. Uh, if we go through, there's a mode button here, so we can go through the modes. At the moment, it's reset the distance to zero. 259 miles, that's the total distance this bike's covered. Uh, it's seen a range of 24 miles at the moment. Uh, and there's three settings, so we've got high, 16, normal, 21, and eco, 24. Uh, battery percentage of 54%, so just over half, and it's given us 30 odd miles. Uh, the bike uh, is kitted out, this, uh, it's a RockShox 30 fork with a remote lockout in the, on the handlebar, so you can lock it out there for maybe road, cli uh, road climbing. Uh, it's a Shimano XT 1x10 drivetrain, so 10 speed in the back. Great range of gears. Uh, it's a Shimano 515 hydraulic disc, centre lock hubs, uh, and 180 mil rotors. So the brakes work really well on it. Uh, kind of mixed tyres, probably quite good for all round use. A bit, no, maybe so great for the Scottish winter if you're riding in mud or whatever. But they're great for road and trail. Uh, we've fitted some DMR V8 pedals onto it, uh, give a bit, bit more steady footing. Uh, so it's a well finished wee bike, uh, we've got to take it a wee run and we can show you different functions working. I'll just select the eco mode first. Got a slight uphill here. But again, just turning the pedals nice and gently. Not a lot of effort here. The bike's just cruising along, doing six or seven miles per hour. Quite a few people have used the bikes, have actually only used them in eco mode and found it to be very, very good. Giving the best mileage uh, and still in steeper hills, get a good workout on it. I'm going to push a bit, that's 12, 13 miles per hour. You can see the battery indicator. Only gets the line showing the power. Just going along a little bit at the moment. Limits it to just under half the battery power, so... The bike has a, a torque sensor in the crank here, so 
when you apply pressure the the battery will give the required amount of help uh, depending on how hard you push the pedal so by just turning the pedals lightly the battery is going to assist quite a bit the harder you push uh, it will equally come in with more power so great system we'll go back down this hill and then we'll go up a couple of steeper ones see how it performs For anybody that knows the local area, this is quite a steep hill here, Hawking Grey Bray. For this I'm going to select the, the normal, normal setting. It's currently 12, 13 miles per hour. Let's see how we got on at this. Up to 14 They came up that hill at mostly between 12 and 15 miles per hour in the normal setting. Uh, still working a bit, but the, the motor handled that adequately. The bike's limited to 15, just over 15 miles per hour, where the battery will cut out. Uh, It's something you get used to riding it for off-road use, not really notice.
with the barrier assist on makes it very easy to travel along flat tracks at round about 15 Put a fair bit of effort in along here uh, in the normal mode. Keep the bike running around about this speed. Not uncomfortable. And switching the, the battery up onto the high mode makes a massive difference. Uh, just turn the pedals round at the moment, no pressure at all. On a flat surface, just turning the pedals, bike accelerates up. Because the, the bike's driven through the crank, as opposed to the old systems where the bike was jet, the power was generated through one of the hubs. So on three wheeling, the bike would be restricted, whereas the modern bike, the, the hubs are free moving. So. Travelling down hills isn't, isn't restricted at all. You can feel the motor pulling back a little bit as you get to the maximum speed, but it's quite easy to pedal it through it.
again on tarmac you're able to drop down into the normal or eco mode even in eco mode very easy to cycle on flat tarmac giving you the best miles if you're out in a long run Yeah, a few people saying that the, the electric bike's cheating. Uh, it certainly assists, but if you want to go up steep hills fast, then you can still you can work out as hard as you want by setting the appropriate body uh, type and putting in the effort you want to do. You just go to get there a lot faster than you would normally without the motor. And there we have it, the E-like 600.